There are options for the drawing area to help with drawing or editing objects. The first option displays the grid. The grid is used to provide graph-like lines to help in designing. Let's turn on the grid by clicking on the View pull-down menu, hovering the mouse over the Show menu item, and then clicking on Show Grid. If you need to adjust the grid, click on the View pull-down menu and select Ruler and Grid. When the Ruler and Grid window opens, click on the Grid tab, and here we can set both the width and height distances of the grid. While this window is open, we can also put a check mark on the Snap to Grid options. When enabled, this will snap the point to a grid point. To show how this works, let's click OK and select the Rectangle tool and bring the pointer to the drawing area. You'll notice that when the point tool is over a grid, it changes the icon to the square with a crosshair in the middle, indicating that if we click at that point, it will snap to a grid point. And as we draw our rectangle, it snaps to a grid point allowing us to make a perfect square. For many, this kind of grid pattern is too busy. We can change the look of that as well. Let's go back to the Ruler and Grid options by clicking on View and choosing Ruler and Grid. Click on the Grid tab. This time we will enable Show Grid as Dots. Click OK. And the grid is not too busy for our eyes. You may have noticed that the drawing area also has rulers that are at the top and sides of the drawing area. When you first open the LXI software, they won't show as seen here. To turn the rulers on, click on the View pull-down menu, hover the mouse pointer over the Show menu item, and select Show Ruler. Once the rulers are showing, we can then hover our mouse over the ruler and click with our right mouse button, or right click, and this contextual menu appears. Here we can choose to open the ruler and grid option window that we did a few minutes ago. We can set our unit of measurement to feet, digital inch, millimeter, centimeter, meter, etc. We can also turn off the ruler from here. The ruler appears on the right side and top of the drawing area. While the ruler is displaying, you may think that this is how you should measure objects on the drawing area. While you may get a general sense of the distance or size of an object, the ruler has better functionality. One of the helpful functions of the ruler is to allow us to place guides. Guides are simply lines that extend across the drawing area and can be used in the drawing area to assist in drawing or editing objects and shapes. They are inert in that they can't be printed or cut. They are just there to help guide you. To pull out a horizontal guide, hover the mouse over the top or horizontal ruler. Click and hold the mouse button, move or drag it into the drawing area, and release the mouse button. To pull out a vertical guide, hover the mouse over the right or vertical ruler, click and hold the mouse button, move or drag it into the drawing area, and release the mouse button. We can set the software so that when we draw, it will snap to the guides. We can do this now by clicking on the View pull-down menu, hover the mouse over Snap, and then click on Snap to Guide. Now draw a rectangle so that the corner is right where the two guidelines intersect. Let's click on the Rectangle tool. Hover the mouse point close to a guide, and notice how the pointer turned into that crosshair icon, indicating that it will snap to the guide or guides. Move the mouse toward where the two guidelines intersect, and then click and draw the rectangle. At some point, you may want to remove a guide or hide them. To delete a guide, simply hover your mouse over the guide, right-click on it, and select Clear from the pop-up menu. Or we can simply click on the guide and press the Delete key on our keyboard. The guides can also be completely turned off.
first, let's click on the Edit pull-down menu. Click Undo to bring the vertical guide back. Click on the Edit pull-down menu again, and click Undo to bring our horizontal guide back. To hide the guides, we click on the View pull-down menu, hover our mouse over Show, and click on Show Guides, which toggles them off. We can also toggle them back on by the same method. The snapping option can be very useful when using the guides or the grid because the software allows us to snap to them when drawing objects. But snapping also works with objects as well. Here we have two circles. Our goal is to draw a rectangle so that it is the same height as the circles. If we go back to the view pull-down menu for a moment, hover over snap, notice how many snapping options we have. Notice here that we can snap to objects as well. Here we are allowed to snap to an edge of an object, an intersection of two lines, and to the center of an object. In this case, we want to snap to an edge of an object, so we can select that. Next, we can click on the Rectangle tool, and then draw a rectangle from the top edge of the one circle to the bottom edge of the second circle. And there we have it. Let's delete that, and let's draw a line from the center of one circle to the other. Let's click on the View pull-down menu, hover over Snap again, and this time select Snap to Center of an Object. Let's next click on the Path tool, hover over the center of the first circle, we know this because the tool turns into that crosshair icon, click to start drawing the line, Move the tool over the second circle, and click again, and there we have a line that is perfectly drawn between the two circles. As you become more familiar with the software, we suggest you experiment with these different snapping options so that you may become familiar with how they work. That's the end of this lesson.